In this tutorial, we'll add functionality to the left main navigation area within our e-learning lesson. So that way, when a learner selects one of the links, they'll be directed to a specific page within the lesson. So to do this, we're going to first access the View tab in PowerPoint, and then select the Slide Master option. And remember, this is that a global feature within the lesson, so we can find that on our, our main screen, uh, our main page there. And at this point, then we can select these links to, to, make, uh, to make better use of, of those things. So link one, I'm actually going to retitle and name that uh, Overview. I'm going to title this one Don Norman. I'm going to title this one About Methods and Summary. And you'll recall that these are the pages that were, were in our lesson. Now, one thing to remember is you don't necessarily, if you have a very long lesson, you don't have to list out all these pages here. But you may consider adding pages to specific topics or important information. So how you use this navigation is really up to you. But you, when you do use it, you want it to be consistent. OK, so when I've selected that, now I'm going to highlight that and right click. And then I'm going to select the hyperlink option. Now, you'll recall that we're going to choose the place in this document to do hyperlinks. Then I'm going to select slide one. I get a little preview there, and that looks correct, so I'm going to select OK. And notice that then the, uh, the color is updated to represent the hyperlink. Um, that's OK. If I wanted to edit that, I might go in and, and do that in the color scheme as well. So I'm going to choose the Don Norman option there. I'm going to select the About link. And notice I'm doing this uh, relatively quickly, and what I'm doing is updating in all the pages. So this is a great time-saving tip. I'm going to select OK, and I'm going to do the final summary page. All right, I've now updated all that navigation, so I'm going to go ahead and click the Close Master View. I'm going to go ahead and preview this by selecting F5, and if I go over here to Don Norman and select that, Notice I've directed that page, and voila, my YouTube video is now displaying, and I could click on that and play if I wanted to. I could also go back and select the next and back features as well. So everything seems to be working okay there for my, my lesson. I'm going to go ahead and, and save my work. And next, I'm, in the next tutorial, we're going to actually publish our lesson and work through some of those uh, publishing parameters that are going to be used to, to display the content.